If you have normal blood pressure, you are probably not concerned about the amount of dietary sodium you consume. But I have perfect blood pressure and I absolutely limit the amount of sodium I consume for a really good reason. I'm gonna explain that to you today. So when you go to the doctors, sit down, you wait five minutes, they take your blood pressure, it's perfectly fine. All you're doing is measuring how the engine idles. You're not measuring what happens when you take the car for a test drive. You want that number to be good, but that doesn't mean you're in the clear. So when you increase blood flow to areas, say you're through stress or lack of sleep or exercise, you get something known as flow media dilation, which opens up your blood vessels to accommodate the greater flow and keep your blood pressure in check. Now, we have tons of studies looking at salt sensitive people, salt resistant people, normal tensive people, obese people, and no matter whether you're salt sensitive, salt resistant, normal blood pressure, poor blood pressure, Increasing your dietary sodium intake absolutely negatively impacts flow media dilation, which is bad in the long term. Check out those studies in the description.